वेलकम टू द फोर्थ स्टैंडर्ड इंग्लिश मीडियम सब्जेक्ट मैथ्स चैप्टर फोर टिक 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 पार्ट वन लेट्स स्टार्ट टुडे द न्यू चैप्टर बट बिफोर दिट्स लेट मी से दैट इन अस ऑन द सेकेंड डेट मीन्स बिफोर दिस वीडियो आई हैव टू डर टेस्ट आई हैव सेंड यू वर्कशीट ऑफ अ टेस्ट पेपर राइट ऑफ चैप्टर नंबर वन एंड चैप्टर नंबर टू सो आई होप दैट एवरी वन टेस्ट वॉज गुड यू ट्राई टू सॉल्व एंड यू गॉट ऑल द आंसर्स आफ्टर वॉचिंग द वीडियो ऑफ दैट डे ओनली येस बिकॉज इन दैट वीडियो आई हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड ऑल द थिंग्स रिगार्डिंग योर टेस्ट सो इट वॉज ईजी फॉर यू सो नाउ लेट सी द न्यू चैप्टर इट्स नेम इज टिक 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 isn't it a little bit a comedy type of name for the chapter and the chapter number is chapter 4 uh chapter number 3 we will take it later on in the school durations only when you will come to the school at that time only we will do because it's important for you to uh, learn that all the things with the chapter 3 in the school you will understand very well compared to over here fine So let's see this a pre-task of this video. There is a small conversation between Pampos and Sazia. They were discussing that whose home is farther from school. Means whose home, wh whose house, uh, and schools between that, from house to school, who have a long distance. Fine. So let's see that how with this conversation. Sazia is. Uh, Pampos is saying that I have to walk for five minutes to reach school. While the girl Sazia said that I just walk for two minutes to reach school. Oh, look how the shopkeeper is also looking both to towards them, right? Let's see ahead what they are saying. Pampos replied, "Impossible. Your home is farther from school." Sazia told him, "But I checked my watch. I start from school at seven o'clock. You can see the clock also, right? The big hand is on twelve, and small hand is on seven. And we had already learned about the o'clock. It is seven o'clock, right? When I reach school, the minute hand points at two. You can see in the clock also." Where the clock now? Uh, in the clock, the minute hand it came from twelve to two. So if you remember, then we had already learned these things, right? In the chapter number of time, which we seen in our third standard as well as in the second standard also. Then Sazia said, "So shouldn't it be two minutes past seven or seven to?" Do you think so? That she is right. Let's see her head. What the Pampos replied to her: "You are wrong. You reached school at seven ten." Sazia said, "How? Right?" Sazia is now confused. That how she reached at seven ten. She saw the watch at that time. It was seven two. But do you think so? That it is seven two or seven ten? Let's see her head. Can you see these thin lines between the numbers of the clock, right? Sazia said, "Yes." So what? The minute hand moves across ten minutes after twelve. Yes, you can see over there between twelve and one. There are little bit light lines are also there. Four four lines are there. Okay, between the each numbers. So. One, you have to consider it of that number, means twelve dash, exactly. Then after that, second dash will be as your second. Then third dash will be as your three. Then next one will be as your third number. Fourth dash is your fourth one, and then one number dash is your five. Okay. You have to start from the after twelve. 
you have to set it from after 12 dash so after exit the 12 number dash whichever the numbers are there you have to count it which we have already learned in again you are, i will explain you all these things fine so you can see that the minute hand moves across 10 lines after 12 so it is 10 minutes past 7 or 7 10 yes pampos is right i start for school at 7 i reach at 7 5 see the time see the time see the minute hand moves across five lines in the next clock of your right side right as you can see in the on the left side it shows you seven o'clock and on the right side it shows you seven minutes past oh sorry five minutes past to seven so seven five pampos reach at school it means that pampos reach earlier than sazia let's try to understand few questions now okay there is a question that do you like sky watching maybe at night if you uh, lay, uh, sleep in on terrace okay at that time you had seen the skies uh, you have if you sit at night outside also then you see the sky it is it looks very wonderful wonderful with the lot numbers of stars okay so let's see that how it became interesting even in the daytime also the sky is very beautiful in the early morning and when the sun is going to set at that time so let's have the first question over here at what time does the sun rise at your place do you remember at what time the sunrise? Mm, around 6 o'clock. So I wrote 6 a.m. here. Let me say you that it the sun rises as uh, in the different seasons. We are having three seasons, right? Winter, summer and monsoon. So in all three seasons, it changes. It, its times also change of the sunrise. As well as of the sunset also the time gets changed. In the winter, it uh, the sun rises a little bit uh, late and the sun sets early. Okay. Next question is, when does the sun set? Mm, around 6.30. So, the answer which I wrote is 6.30 p.m. Okay. As you can see in the clock also, I have shown you the hands. Okay. So, this is the answers it may be uh, for you the answers can be different as per the seasons right now the summer is going on if you all know then so the sunset occurs after seven o'clock so the sunset time right now you can write it 7 30 also if you want it okay and before six o'clock the sun rises right now means uh, at 5 45 between 5 45 to six o'clock the sun rises right now in the summers okay so you can write that time also right now the summer time also you can write it you can write it the time of the sunrise for the winter season also doesn't matter next is there does the sun rise and set at the same times every day you saw the previous two questions does the both the time was same six o'clock six o'clock am 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 or pm both are same no answer is no sun does not rise and set at the same time every day time of sunrise and sunset changes according to seasons as i said you right you can see newspaper to check sunrise and sunset in different months remember this thing when you see the newspaper first on the newspaper first page you will find the newspaper name okay suppose you are uh, getting the at your home times of india sundays divya baskar naya parkar whichever newspaper is coming at your home in that where the date day is written in that line only you will find the sunrise and sunset time okay so you can check it and you will get the answers 
so your confusion will be also will be cleared that what is the time you can say that around six o'clock uh, the sunrise and sunset okay look at the photo and guess the time at this place what it will be let's see that anybody guess which photo it is which place it is oh yes it's a eiffel tower of paris right this photo was taken paris at france in paris the sun sets after 9 pm at night during summer look oh my god it means after 9 pm of night also it is like it look like a day yes at many of the countries you see like this kind of weather in the summer as we all know that in the summer the days are longer and nights are shorter right and in winter days are shorter and nights are longer so they are saying that this photo was taken at night huh really yes but in winter it becomes dark here by 4 pm in the evening oh my god in the winter over here in our india at the 4 pm we are in the always in the school right and in the summer at night pm we are always at the home we having some few of them are having their dinners few of them have completed their dinners okay and they are watching the movies or having some fun at home with the families even right now also at the night pm night to 9 pm we are having some some of them are having the rest yes okay so this is the difference look of the sunset that even after the 9 pm at the many place in the world the sun is not set it looks a daytime like it looks like a daytime fine let's find out this how long it take the minute hand to move from first question is there in that first clock the small hand is between 3 and 4 and the big hand minute hand is exactly on 7 right so if we will go from 12 after 12 if we will see 1 so how many minutes are there 5 minutes if we will go to the 2 then 10 minutes if we will come to the 3 big hand then 15 minutes on 4 big hand will be then it will be 20 minutes on 5 it will be 25 minutes on 6 it will be 30 minutes on 7 it will be 35 minutes right so the time is here 335 right yes why 335 we can't take 445 because the minute the upper hand is between 3 and 4 so we have to take the first number between the two the short hand is between the two numbers right so we have to take the first one so which is the first one over there 3 or 4 3 right so we will take 3 so we can say that 335 is there in the first clock of a a sum then in the second clock of that the min minute hand is now on 10 so 7 then up to 10 how many minutes it will be there when the hand passes from 7 number to the 10 number so let's count it okay after 7 you have to set it as a 5 after 7 and when you count it up to the 8 number it will be the 5 minutes when you go from 8 to the 9 another 5 so 5 plus 5 will be 10 and again 5 more so it will be 15 right 7 after how many numbers are there 8 9 and 10 so 3 numbers so 3 5s are 15 so the answer will be of the first one is 15 minutes second sum is there in the clock the minute hand is on 8 okay so the time is 3 40 now in the second clock of sum b it re it shows you the 4 o'clock so from 8 to 12 up after the 8 how many numbers are there 9 10 11 and 12 
it's four numbers are there so four five are how much it will be 20 so the answer is 20 minutes clear remember this thing it's a very easy thing don't get confused next sum now here the minute end is on one okay so after on the sec in the second clock of the six sum it goes on three so when it goes from one to three right how many numbers are there two numbers two and three number both right two numbers there so two fives are ten right so the answer of c is 10 minutes let's see the sum d the minute hand is on seven okay oh sorry minute hand is on two and our hand is on seven so it is seven ten time okay uh, when the Sazia reach at school, if you all know then. So at uh, minute, 10 minutes past to 7, Sazia reached to school, right? So then, in the next clock, you can find that it's a 7.45, right? Means 15 minutes are only remain for the 8 o'clock. So, from 2 to 9, how many numbers will be there? 3 four five six seven eight and nine total how many are there two is your one three is your two then four will be as your three five will be as your four six will be as your five seven will be at a six number eight will be seven and then nine it will be total seven numbers Okay, so two when a minute hand goes from two number to the up to nine number, total seven numbers it crosses. It crosses seven number. So seven nines are sorry seven fives are how much? Thirty five minutes, right? So the answer is thirty five minutes. Let's have one few few one question here. Draw where the hands of clock will be. Oh, it's very easy. 20 minutes after 6 o'clock. Do you all know that what time will be, uh, where will be the minute hand in the o'clock? Yes, it will be exactly on the 12. And the small hand will be on a 6. So, after 6, you have to count it 20 minutes. Means you have to divide it by 5. In the table of 5, when you are getting 20 as an answer, 5 fours are 20, right? So, the minute hand will go on 4 and small hand will be on 6. So, the answer is 6, 20 or you can say 20 minutes past to 6. Fine, 20 minutes past 6. Second question is there. 30 minutes after 8 o'clock. Oh, oh, it means in the table of 5 when we are getting 30 answer. Anyone can tell me? Yes, 5, 6 are 30, right? So, the answer will be 8, 30. Okay, clear? Let's have two more sums. This kind of sums I have already asked you in the worksheets also of this clock that draw where the hands of the clock will be. Okay, so now it will be easy for you to do. 10 minutes after 7 o'clock. So when 10 answer comes in the table of 5, 5 to the 10. So minute big hand will go on 2 and small hand will go on seven fine next question is there d 15 minutes after five o'clock 15 minutes means in the table of five we need a 15 as an answer when we are getting 15 answer in the table of five any guesses any guesses yes five threes are 15 so big hand will go on 
3 and small hand will be on 5. So it's quarter past 5. Let's come to the main topic of this video. Reading time, a quick recall. If you are, uh, if we, I will say you, then uh, the chapter name, right? The chapter name is Tick, Tick, Tick. But what we are going to learn in this Tick, 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 Tick? We are going to learn about the time. Okay? If you remember, then from the first standard, we are learning for the clock. In the first standard, we learned o'clock and half past, right? In the second standard, we learn about the minutes. 5 minutes here, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes, 25 minutes, 30 minutes, 35, 45 minutes, 40 minutes, 45 minutes, 50, 55 and 60 minutes. In the third standard, we learn about the exact minutes that about the minutes pass and minutes to right so all the things in a one clock only i have shown you even this kind of clock we have already done in our third standard right this kind of clock i have made you to draw in your notebook and you have done color okay so again let's remind this fine how many numbers are there in the clock one two twelve numbers Okay, fine. It means we can say that 12 hours, uh, 12 hours for daytime and 12 hours for a night time. fine so and we all know that how many minutes are there in a one or uh, one hour so we can say that when the big hand will complete one whole rotation in a clockwise rotation at that time one hour is equal to 60 minutes fine but how many minutes are uh, in a one minute how many seconds will be there okay if you all if you all can see then right now the the this pen is my big big min big hand of a clock okay so if i'm moving from this to the pink dash the first dash over here it's a it means a once one minute is here fine then two minute then three minute after that four minute and here it will be five minutes so when it goes between from 12 to 1 it takes 60 seconds fine so let me say you that between the two numbers you can say that the interval between two numbers which two numbers the numbers which are in a clock as you can see in the pink color I have written that numbers okay is divided into five equal divisions and has four markings if you can note in the clock over here you can see that this is a other color other color on the numbers i have done blue color or purple color mark right and between the numbers i have done the mark with the pink color so that pink color marks are everywhere it is four between the two numbers there are four markings okay and they are equally divided into 
फाइव डिविजन फाइव क्लियर द सिक्स एंड लेट मी से यू दैट द स्मॉलर डिविजन द स्मॉलर डिविजन बिटवीन टू बिगर डिविजन हियर यू कैन फाइंड इट Let's have the work over here now. If the big hand is on twelve, then we can say o'clock. If the big hand is on three, then we can say quarter past. If the big hand is on six, then we can say half past. If the big hand is on nine, then we can say quarter to. Right. So this is the main thing. Are there? Fine. Regarding this only, I will ask you in the worksheets. You have to tell me the time. In a two ways. In a two ways right we have learned time to write it in a two ways so the first way let me show you that how to write the time suppose if i'm drawing your clock Twelve, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, and eleven. Okay, you can see the clock over here. Let me show you. A big hand will be on the big one. Two. Your big hand is on two. Fine. And the small hand will be here. Let me show you at. so i can say that what where is the big hand it is between 12 and 6 portion this side so this side which we had said minutes past right at 2 exactly how many minutes are there at 2 10 minutes so we can say 10 minutes past but at what what time 10 minutes is past so what Ten. Clear. In a, another way, what we have to write: ten hour and ten minute. Right? If you can see this column, when you write the time in the number formation, at that time column is used to separate hour and minute. So this is your hour, and here is your minute on your right side you have to write minutes on your left side you have to write hours okay clear another way suppose let me show you the one more example for this if i'm drawing it here with the directly with the pen but you don't have to use directly pencil you all have to use pencil as well as scale for drawing the clocks is it clear so don't draw it directly everyone as we are doing in the class in the same way you all have to draw with the help of scale only okay now the big hand is over here on 4 and the small hand will be here nearby one we can see this fine so where is the big hand on 4 on 4 how many minutes are there let's check on 4 on 4 on 4 20 minutes right so we can say that 20 minutes but after minutes what we have to write past Or two. Where is the hand on the right side? So on the right side, what it is? Minutes past. Minutes we have already written, so we have to write it past. Past. At what? What time? For hours. For hour, what we are writing? Here we had written the hour. This ten, right? So for that, how much it will be? Here it is one. So twenty minutes past. One, okay. Clear. When you write it in the words, 
at that time this is your minutes here is your minutes and here is your hour your one is your hour here okay clear and the another way to write the time will be one hour will be one right and how many minutes will be there 20 minutes okay clear